Hello and welcome to St Michael's Hospice Lights of Love Celebration. My name's Sarah Geel, I'm the spiritual support lead here at the hospice and it's a real pleasure and a joy to welcome you this year. And wherever you're gathering today, whether you're on your own with friends, with family, maybe with your pets, you're very welcome. And let's remember and honour and be mindful that even though we may be small where we're sat or we may be on our own, we actually though are forming a really lovely community and our intention today is about being together, being together in spirit. And that's symbolised by our stars and our hearts and our lights. They're representing the beauty of love in all its forms. And so we're going to light our candle as a light that will stay constant throughout our service today. And the flame just brings us back to ourselves and reminds us of our centre and what sustains us. So hope lights this place and for this time we are united in our life's journey as we remain held by love and light in this simple act of lighting our candles, we find a place of simplicity and beauty. And now David is going to light four more candles for us. Thank you, David. The first candle represents our grief, the pain of losing those we love. The second candle represents our courage to acknowledge our sorrow, to live with our grief and to comfort each other. The third candle represents our memory like precious jewels and treasures. And the fourth candle represents our ongoing love. We remain in love. So let us say together, we light these candles and remember the beauty of love. We light these candles in honour of your life lived. We light these candles as a symbol of our coming together. We light these candles as a sign of hope. May we feel held and soothed by today's celebration and by remembering. So as I said, thank you for joining us today. And I know for many, this is a regular time of the year where you stop, it's become a ritual and it's become part of your lead up to Christmas. For many, this may be your first Lights of Love service and we welcome you and hope you will find this comforting. We're giving ourselves permission to just be still, to recount and to remember those, those people that we've loved to have died. But also we want to be thankful for their life lived, thankful for the experience and the adventures we shared with them, for the beauty of living and sharing. And remember our image of the candle and if we imagine all those candles that are lit around Hastings and Rother, just imagine how, how illuminated that is, that, that lifts and that offers us hope. And I'm also imagining your stars hanging on your trees at home or maybe in a special place, maybe surrounded by lights, by candles. You will have personalised them, put pictures on and lovely memories. And I hope they too bring you comfort. If you haven't put your star up, you may like to do it now during our service. Later on, our Mayor, Councillor James Bacon, will of course switch our lights on at four o'clock, that moment of anticipation that wonder as the lights ping on and the shiny star dust cuts through the darkness, shining out like our love. And later on, of course, we will put our Book of Remembrance with our candle and we'll have 
a few moments for reflection and our own personal remembrance. So I hope you enjoy this time with us this afternoon. This year we have a treat for you. Rob Witherall, who used to work here at the hospice, has written a song for our Lights of Love celebration and it's called The Light of Your Love. And we have a St Michael's Hospice pop-up choir who are going to sing this song. And it speaks of living with the pain and sadness of someone we love dying. But it reminds us and it encourages us to see that love and light can act as a key for us living with loss. That we can live with sorrow and love and gratitude and thanks. This song is joyful and it's been a real excitement for us as a team to come together, volunteers and staff, and learn it. It's full of energy, it celebrates the joy of living and loving, and we're really happy to be sharing it with you today. We hope you enjoy it. The words will be up on the screen and you might like to sing along, you might like to hum, or just let the music and the words just soothe you. But before we hear the song, we're going to hear a poem from Angie, a Mary Oliver poem that talks about how we're part of nature and how if we allow nature to engage our imagination, we can feel part of the creation of nature and find our place amongst that. So Angie's going to read and then we will hear our song in a little bit. Wild Geese by Mary Oliver You do not have to be good you do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese, high in the clean blue air, are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over, announcing your place in the family of things. Yesterday I was lonely, I missed your love, kept looking down at my feet, too sad to look up.
Thank you to our pop-up choir. I hope you enjoyed that and found the music and the words supportive and inspiring and could just see the energy and love that the choir were sharing together and sharing with you. And of course, that beautiful poem by Mary Oliver, read by Angie. And as we hold all those thoughts and sentiments, we're going to move into our act of remembrance. And we'll start by placing our Book of Remembrance with our candle. And this has got all the names of the people that you are remembering, that we're remembering as a community together. So I'll place that with our candle. And let's say together, as the flame of the candle flickers and sheds its beam over the Book of Remembrance, we honour those whose names are in this book. We celebrate their lives. We give thanks for their life. Our journey in life remains and they remain in our lives. And as we have done previous years, we're going to just move in to a time for your own personal remembrance. I'm going to say a line and then pause for you to fill in your thoughts. I remember you made me feel. I remember what made you laugh. I remember we laughed at. I remember our special place.
I remember you didn't like. I remember you liked to. I remember you always said. I remember people say you were. I remember you loved to. I remember we loved to. I remember the many things we did together. I remember you. I remember us. I will go on remembering. I remember. Thank you. And we'll just hold a few moments of silence for your own memories and I'll ring our bell at the end of that time. Thank you, and I hope that that time for personal reflection and memories was comforting. And as we move through our service and become towards the end of it, not forgetting our lights being switched on at four o'clock, we're going to hear from three families who have shared their thoughts with us about having received hospice services. And then we're going to hear from our Chief Executive, Dr Karen Clark before we have our closing blessing. My mother was comfortable and joyful at the end. We are all very grateful to St. Michael's Hospice and the kind staff. Thank you for such care, consideration and patience. I was extremely grateful that my husband was so well cared for. I was also supported and allowed to stay overnight for his last week. We as a family wanted to express our heartfelt thanks for all the support you provided us, especially our mum. We can never, you can never know what difference it made to us all and to have that support, thank you. Hi everybody and welcome to St Michael's Hospice Lights of Love. This is a time for us to come together, a time for reflection and a time for remembering. And I'm sorry that sadly this time we can't be together in person, but I hope you'll find some comfort from knowing that people across Hastings and Rother and beyond are coming together at this moment to remember and celebrate the lives of those who are no longer with us. As I reflect on the last year, I want to say thank you so much for your support. As a community, you've held us through what's been one of the most difficult times in St Michael's Hospice's history. And now that lockdown restrictions have eased, you have come out in your hundreds, literally, to support us. The Moonlight and Memories Walk was a very poignant and lovely event, and the Rye Show in August saw over 2,000 people come through the gates. I can't tell you how uplifting it was to see so many people there and to feel the sense of your support. I'm also immensely proud of our phenomenal team here at the hospice, whether they're involved directly in supporting patients and families or fundraising or 
working in the shops or supporting the functions that keep the hospice running. Their devotion, their commitment, their resilience has been unwavering and I couldn't feel more proud of them. And gradually we're starting to see our volunteers coming back. It's fantastic to see so many familiar faces, but also lots of new volunteers coming into new roles. As we find our way in this new digital world, um, we're recruiting volunteers who have those skills to support us. So e-commerce volunteers or e-learning buddies are just some of the examples of, of those new roles. And thank you to all of those volunteers out there. And here we are again at, at Lights of Love. And yes, it is a time of reflection and remembering, but it's also an opportunity to celebrate life and to celebrate love. And you'll have heard our song that the hospice team have created, Light of Your Love. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. I'm immensely proud and it sounds fantastic. And as you listened, I hope you felt a sense of connection with other people, a sense of warmth, a sense of knowing that you're not alone, despite perhaps some of the sadness that you feel at this time of year. So thank you once again for joining us for Lights of Love and I send my very best wishes to you and your families. We have been in the community together remembering. We have been blessed to have lived in love and wisdom and we are thankful. Our lights on our tree shine out to our community. Our hearts are warmed and you remain in our lives. These lights and stars remind us we are connected through the mystery of love. So that's the end of our service. Thank you for being with us. Thank you from everyone at the St Michael's Hospice, our volunteers and staff teams. We look forward to welcoming you through the year to our events and here in the hospice and in the community. Don't forget to join us at four o'clock, maybe have a mince pie, a cup of tea and we'll see you soon. Thank you.